Hi, this is Dr. Nirmala speaking to you. I am a consultant um, infertility specialist and clinical director, Manipal Fertility, JP Naka. I have been into the practice of uh, IVF since 1998. Well, I would not recommend doing immune tests before the first IVF cycle. But yes, whilst we are talking about the group of patients which is a recurrent implantation failure repeatedly they have had embryo transfers of good quality embryos and have not succeeded in this group as i already mentioned immune tests could make a sense there could be subtle variations um, in the immunological mechanisms second there's another specific group where the immune uh, tests are warranted that is a group where they are subfertile group they do implant they do get pregnant but they are unable to take the pregnancy forward maybe they are just biochemical pregnancies or you see a sac but then the fetal heart and the node does not appear and they lose the pregnancies the group called the recurrent miscarriages Yes, of course, this is another group where definitely the immune tests like the antiphospholipid antibody syndrome and the protein S, protein C deficiencies, these tests could be recommended. 